Mind Your Subconscious is the podcast that provides you with tips, tools, and perspectives that you need to turn your wildest dreams into reality. We believe that the key to your dreams lies in your subconscious, but we also know that not everything works for everyone. That is why we provide you with a variety of modalities you can use to get rid of your subconscious limiting beliefs so you can make your dreams come true. Your host is hypnotherapist Jennifer Schlüter, who quit her job to travel the world while working online in 2016 after her first hypnosis session. Now she helps people to get rid of whatever is holding them back from standing in their true purpose and speaking their truth so that they can live up to their fullest potential while getting paid for it. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Mind Your Subconscious. Today I am here with Lexi. You may know her as the girl who channeled the masters a few episodes ago if you've been listening to us for a while. And Lexi has created her own energy work business in the meantime and she has been helping clients with their anxiety. She helped somebody quit smoking and she helped another woman repair her womb all by remote energy healing. That means Lexi reads into her energy field, so to say, and she can see what is happening there and she can even clear out some stuff. This episode is going to be absolutely amazing. Give it a listen and have an amazing rest of your week. Okay. So, <laughs> hi everybody. Today I am here with Lexi, one of the most amazing humans I know. And Lexi, please go ahead and tell us who you are. Hi Jenny, hi everybody listening. My name is Lexi. I am an energy worker and the owner of a company called Soul Solutions. I work with angels to help balance people's energy systems so they can experience full soul wellness and um, live their best life. Beautiful. And what does that have to do with the subconscious mind? So the energy system within you fuels everything through your body. It fuels how your body functions and how your brain functions. So when your energy system is thrown off or imbalanced in any way, shape or form, it can manifest itself in common mental problems such as anxiety and depression, even negative thought cycles, just because it's not operating at its most efficient level. And what does it have to do when you are doing the work with the subconscious mind? When I'm doing the work with the subconscious mind, I'm helping clear blockages and rebalance things within the mind that allows people to finally operate at their highest good. A lot of people's anxiety, negativity, and problems are actually linked to some sort of energetic imbalance, where once we balance that back out, those symptoms go away or their symptoms become more manageable so they can handle them through other therapies such as hypnotherapy, talk therapy, art therapy. But it helps open that door because if you're always running straight against a wall, you're never going to be able to really make a change. I remove that wall by putting the balance back in the brain so that they can continue on to their highest good. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, what I meant to say was, or how I meant to ask or phrase the question was actually, how do you use your subconscious mind while working on your clients? The way I use my subconscious mind is when I work with somebody, I step into their energy fields and then my subconscious mind kind of takes over because it knows everything, how to do everything. It already has all these programs of how to help people, how to heal people in it. And so I just kind of let my natural systems take over. Um, they work with angels, they understand what people need, and they kind of take care of everything for it. Who is they, and how did you learn that? They is um, the angels and the clients, their spirits, their spirit guides. Um, when I work with my clients, their guides, every ancestor that still is around them, and every angel that has a special interest in their life is around. So as we're doing the work together, they <laughs> will do the work um, kind of, I'm just kind of more like the leader pointing to, hey, can someone do this? Can someone do this? And um, your spirit team really steps forward and does a lot of the balancing work because 
the energy system is its own universe within your own body. It's a beautiful, beautiful sight, but it's a lot for two hands to do. So your entire spirit team will jump in and do what they can as well. So that's they. <laughs> uh-huh. And when you do a session, what does that look like? What can I imagine when I'm like, you know, I, I've never done ener gotten energy work done on me, not personally, but, you know, if, if I've never done that before, how could I imagine a session with you? Well, a session with me um, is completely based, based off of a pure energetic connection. I don't do any phone calls. I don't need any pictures or anything like that. I completely rely on the angels and your spirit team to bring me to you. And I actually physically become one. I enter your aura and I can physically manipulate your energy system. Um, so when you do an energy work session with me, we agree on a time where you get to sit back and relax and just allow yourself to take in the energy and allow things to flow through you. Because just like I was saying, you can't run against a wall and expect change. I need you to be open for it as well that allows me, I need to be invited into your system and that allows me to be able to do the work I do. But so after you relax, I say a series of prayers and I team up with your spirit team and we step into your energy field. And when I do that, your energy field becomes one with my body. And I can feel every single blockage and every single problem that you're having in your energy system, just like it's my own. So say you've been having a lot of problems speaking your truth lately, my throat will hurt really, really badly. And I know that's a spot I need to work on. Um, say you've been storing emotions in your left hip, my left hip will start hurting really badly. So I know that's an area to work on. Um, so I just connect with you. Usually my sessions take about 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how much work I need to do. But during that time, you just sit back and you relax and you allow your spirit team and myself to help rebalance you and bring you back to your highest good. And then afterwards, I let you know everything we did. So you are aware of what may potentially have been some pitfalls here or there for you. So you can improve your overall wellness beyond the point of my session as well. Incredible. That sounds amazing. And what do you tell people who don't believe in it? Do um, those people ever come to you even? Do you attract those people? I, I've had one or two who have definitely been skeptical about it. Um, they're like, they often tell me, what makes you think that all of this woo-woo is real? What, what is an energy system? What is chakras? And I always explain it to them as just like you have a respiratory system and a digestive system to keep you alive, you have an energy system to keep you alive. It's just part of your being. And the same as you can work on your respiratory system and you can work on your digestive system, you can work on your energy system. It's all one and the same. And I can't change a non-believer. If they aren't open to me being able to step into their energy field and do the work, then there's nothing I can do to ever convince them. Hopefully when they are ready for that progress and that balance, then they can find me again and then I will be able to be invited into their energy system and actually help them. Beautiful. Okay. You can't change anyone's mind. <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> we don't need to. <laughs> Why will we? Okay. And then you were using the, the word, um, I can manipulate your energy. Tell us, would you ever do anything bad? Could you do anything bad to our energy? Yeah. Um, I would never. I would absolutely never do anything to hurt someone's energy. Um, just because that's a complete violation of trust. Somebody is walking me into the most vulnerable part of themselves, which is their energy system. Um, this is the one part of ourselves that we protect more than anything else in the entire world. We have an aura, we have guardian angels, we have all these things to protect our energy. I would never violate that trust when stepping into someone's energy field of doing something to purposefully hurt them or anything like that. And your angels and your spirit guides and your spirit team would never allow me to anyway. The second even a slightly malicious thought entered my heart, they would boot me out of there so fast that my head would spin. So when you invite someone into your energy system and your angels have approved of that person, you can rest assured that you are protected and you are safe. And one thing that I do is I always make sure that um, I'm using love and light, pure intentions, 
and we usually try to do what we can to rebuild your aura and sever any cords of attachment that you may have as well that are no longer serving you. That way, so you can operate at your highest good. All of it's for the highest good. Even when I'm saying the prayer to get into your energy system, I'm asking them to guide me into your system so that I can do work on you for your highest good. And so I could never, I would absolutely never do anything. N never the bad side of manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> the physical moving and all that other stuff of manipulation. Yeah, I'm doing that, but <laughs> not the negative connotation. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. So tell us a little bit about your clients' successes. Like, what have you been able to do with your energy work? Tell us about your first success, actually. Oh, let's see. The first success I ever had was um, a lady came to me and she was having this really strange problem where no matter what she did the night before, no matter how happy she was the day before, she would wake up every single morning in an absolute panic attack. Her heart pounding, just a complete freak out. She couldn't console it. She couldn't figure out what was wrong. They went to doctors, they went to therapists, and every morning, no matter how good her life was at that time, she would have this massive panic attack when she woke up. So she, that was going on for about a year before she came to me. And um, so we did one session. Um, and in that session, I found that there was a massive imbalance kind of in the back left side of her brain. Um, so I went ahead and I soothed that away with a soft golden light that kind of warmed and relaxed that area of her brain. Um, and then the next morning she woke up and she texted me and I'll never forget how happy I was <laughs> because she said this is the first morning in a year I did not have a panic attack when I woke up after one session and that it's always brought me joy to think back to her and she only ever reached out to me again like a month or two later for a second session because she was starting to feel some anxiety and panic creep back in and that has been several months now, and I have not heard from her since. And she's doing really well from all the stuff I've seen her posting. So in two sessions, she's finally able to wake up in the morning and actually function instead of freak out. So that was, that's, I love, 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 love that experience. That was like my first confirmation that you can actually help people with this. That is absolutely incredible and amazing. And I knew you were able to do this, but it amazes me every single time we speak <laughs> about it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your other successes that you've had. You've had some incredible shit that you were doing. So tell us. <laughs> um, one of my most recent ones that I've really, really been proud of is a guy came to me. Um, he was having really, really bad nicotine headaches. Um, he wanted to quit smoking, but he came to me because he just wanted to be able to get through the nights. So, like he would wake up in the morning with such a bad nicotine migraine. So I asked him, well, if you want to quit smoking, how about you let me try replacing nicotine in your energy system? And he's like, well, you know what? Usually I've tried quitting several times before. Usually it's day three that gets me, but you know what? If you want to try, you go for it. So I was like, okay, let's do this. I went into his energy system, I cleared a lot of shadows, I actually went through the inside of his brain and cleared any energy that was sticking there. Um, and his, his energy system was definitely wanting really bad, like it was always absorbing things. And so that's what it was doing with the nicotine too, it was just taking what it could get. So I cleared everything out and then I put a large ball of light in his head with the blessings and intentions on it that as his energy system needed something, it would eat at this ball of energy instead of going for nicotine. So I left that in his head and he went to work that night and I got a message from him halfway through the night that he went out on a smoke break, even though he didn't really feel like he needed to, he did it anyway. And every time he would take a drag of his cigarette, he's like, I would almost pass out. I was so lightheaded. Was that you? And I was like, well, I gave you the energy needed for your brain to be calm enough anyway. So yeah, you take a hit of nicotine and it overcalms you and you're going to pass out. He threw away his e-cig a day or two later. And it has been several weeks since he has smoked or had a craving whatsoever. So he has been able to completely kick smoking. And that makes me so happy that he's able to wake up in the morning without a nicotine headache. 
I'm very happy when people get to wake up in the morning feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's so important to me, right? <laughs> incredible. Uh, wow, that is incredible. I love that. I absolutely love that. Tell us more. What else did you help people with? Um, well, one of my more interesting cases was I had a lady come to me because she really wanted to conceive a child. And she already knew that she had a blockage in her womb but she didn't know any details about it. She just hoped that I could go in and energetically clear that blockage. So when I stepped into her energy field, the first thing I noticed was that I didn't feel an energy blockage around her womb whatsoever, which I would have expected with her being so certain she had a blockage there. I talked to her spirit team about, okay, um, is there anything that she should know, anything she should do? And they said, well, there's not much she can do, but do your best. So I actually placed myself inside of her room, and um, it was a very, very strong experience um, because the inside of her womb was covered in such thick energetic scars that um, it couldn't conceive a child. And um, these scars were placed there by a past life trauma that she had had that she didn't even know she's been carrying all this time. And her womb actually stored this memory and stored this trauma so that she would never have to deal with it. And um, so her body was hanging on to this pain and the sadness and everything. So I just remember sitting there sobbing. <laughs> as I was standing in this woman's womb, trying to figure out what I was gonna do to help her. And I called in a whole team of angels and we started working on sending gold light through the walls of her womb so that it would stitch together the scars again and begin healing them. Um, we let a lot of soft pink light into her room so that it was able to clear away the pain um, and allow it to feel loved again because it felt hated, it felt violated, it felt, um, just a lot of pain was being held in her womb. Um, so we did a lot of clearing work, um, got it as good as I could get, and then I talked to her afterwards. And um, it turns out that the vision I had had of the trauma that she had ended up exactly coinciding with what she saw in a past life regression she ended up having two weeks later. So that really was an experience that her body had been hanging on to. And um, I heard from her about two weeks ago that um, she doesn't have period pain anymore. Ever since we've done the clearing, she hasn't been able to test the conception yet um, due to some life changes, but she doesn't have much period pain at all anymore. So at least she got that benefit out of it. <laughs> Incredible. I'm amazed. Wow. I love it. Okay, anything else that you have that you want to share from your clients? Yeah, I actually, as soon as we talked about me coming on the podcast, I decided I wanted to run a case study on how energy work can affect the subconscious mind directly. So I ended up getting two participants who were willing to work with me, and we based off the criteria of their anxiety, their depression, their limiting beliefs, and their negative thought cycle. And so um, I had them do a baseline reading. Then we did um, the energy work session after that. One second, what is a baseline reading? We did, um, I sent them a long questionnaire with all of the, how anxious are you feeling in this moment? How depressed are you feeling in this moment? How um, stuck do you feel in this moment? How negative do you feel in this moment? And I got their, um, kind of point totals on a scale of one to 10 of how they felt in all those, those areas of their lives. And then I also asked them various things like, had they ever done therapy before? Were they on medications for their subconscious problems and such? Um, and so that was our baseline. And then we repeated some of the questions like the, on a scale of one to 10, how are you feeling for immediately after our energy work session? Then I had them do the questionnaire again one week afterwards and two weeks afterwards of the energy work session. And I am just blown away. I finally tallied up the totals this morning and I am so happy to see the data that we ended up getting. So for one of our participants, she had formerly done therapy 
Um, she wasn't on any medications, but her anxiety was at a seven out of 10. Her depression was at a six out of 10. Her limiting beliefs were a seven and her um, negative thought cycles were a seven. Immediately after the session, her anxiety dropped to a four. Her depression dropped to a two. Her limiting beliefs dropped to a four and her negative thought cycles dropped to a three, which was pretty good for immediately afterwards. But then I contacted her one week later with the next questionnaire. Her anxiety was only at a three after an entire week after this energy work session that we did together. Her depression had dropped all the way down to a two. Her limiting beliefs had dropped to a three and her negative thought cycles had dropped to a two as well. So massive improvement even a week after to go from a seven to a three in anxiety is, I'm sure any of you that suffer from anxiety know that's a big change. Unfortunately, when we got to the second week, her numbers did go back up a little bit, um, just to like, um, it went from a three to a five in anxiety, and then everything else went from its two to a four. But we now know that at one week, she needed more maintenance. And so to still see that she dropped from a seven to a three in anxiety, that makes me absolutely thrilled. Our other participant, on the other hand, had formerly had therapy and was, is currently on medication for the um, anxiety and depression that she has. Um, when we did her baseline readings, her anxiety was a seven, her depression was a six, her limiting beliefs were only at a four, which was pretty good already to start, but her negative thought cycles were all the way up at a nine. So immediately after the session, again, the numbers drop from the initial energy work. Her anxiety was a four, her depression was a three, and her negative thought cycles dropped all the way to a three immediately after the session. When we checked back one week later, her anxiety had accidentally jumped up to a six. She had a really bad week, but I really wish I had known about that because I would have done another session for help carry her through it. Um, her depression was now at a three from the six before. Her limiting beliefs had dropped to a two. And even though her negative thought cycles had started at a nine, they were still holding at a three one week later even in the middle of having an anxiety attack and having honestly a really bad week <laughs> from what she had told me, she still was able to hold her negative thought cycles at a three. And this, the second week reading still it held at a three as well. So her negative thought cycles have gone from almost debilitating to manageable levels. One thing wow. that both participants told me was even though they still were experiencing some anxiety, some depression, some, ne some negative thoughts, they both found them a lot more manageable, that they could take notice of them a lot easier and that they were able to, okay, nullify them. Instead of them just being gone, they became more self-aware of themselves and they were able to better handle things like that. Wow, that is incredible. I know you were amazing, but that was <laughs> even more amazing. So how did you get into all of that? And, and were you ever thinking like, oh, what if I'm too woo? Like, you know, <laughs> this is weird, all of this stuff. And yeah, what happened? Um, so this is something that my soul has done since the beginning of its time. But I didn't know about it until just the beginning of this year. Um, I ended up meeting a lady who was actually on your podcast as well, Brittany, who helped me open up to the fact that, hey, you know, there is something, there is some natural healer in me. And once we kind of broke down those barriers, um, I've been able to do these things without being able to totally explain how I can do them or anything like that. Um, but I most definitely have felt way too woo, way too crazy, and very often. <laughs> I still sometimes worry, whoa, am I just crazy? But then I see numbers from my people, I hear the success stories from my clients, and it's all just a confirmation that there's such a wide world outside of what we can see, and there's so many beautiful things that we can do within them. So, um, yeah, I feel way too woo all the time when I'm just sitting at the dinner table and there's angels talking in my ear. I'm like, okay, where do we go with this? <laughs> but, <laughs> Then they swoop in for the assist and they help a friend stop smoking and I am all good with it. They can talk in my ear at dinner all they want. <laughs> amazing. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Great. 
is there anything you want to talk about? Anything else you want our listeners to know? Yeah, definitely. I would just like to invite all of your listeners to work on opening themselves up to exploring their own energy systems. It doesn't even require coming to an energy worker like myself to figure out what might be off in your body. If you just start practicing some mindfulness of sitting back, taking a deep breath, and recentering your full soul to fill in your body, you'll be able to feel where there are blockages, where there are imbalances and stuff, and you can send love and light to those areas. You can ask your angels, you can ask your spirit team to help you work on those things. Um, this is something that anybody really is truly able to do. Nobody has to be forced into living with imbalances and living with blockages. And so um, I would just like to encourage you all to explore your energy system, find your chakras, feel them, feel the channels that run all the way down to your fingertips full of energy, feel the channels that run through your brain, feel the light coursing through them, the flow of the energy, imagine the energy like water just filling your entire body and imagine that you yourself are a universe full of beautiful lights and stars and these little connections between all the stars. See yourself that way, respect yourself that way, and be able to identify further when you need something because it's really going to change your life. Wow, beautiful. And what is the difference between what you do and Reiki, as some people may ask themselves? Well, Reiki is a... Um, Reiki energy itself is the life-giving energy that flows amongst all beings. It's in the ground, it's in the plants, it's in people, it's in the sky, it's in water. Um, Reiki is the life-giving energy. When you're a Reiki practitioner, you have gone through a series of courses and set attunements to be able to channel that energy out of your hands and guide it to where it needs to go. So, um, pretty much you become a tunnel, you become a channel to guide that energy through people's bodies. And if you're an intuitive Reiki practitioner, then you know a little bit more about where to guide it. But um, that it too is something that anybody can do. Anybody can attune themselves to guide this energy um, because the energy is here for life. It is, it's there to give, to help things grow, to help things heal. What I do is different in the way that I'm not a channel. I am actually physically moving the energy. I am physically stepping into your place. I'm not just standing outside and channeling the energy towards you and allowing the energy to do its work. I am physically in your energy body, moving things, removing things, recharging things, placing balls of energy physically within your energy body. So um, not to say that Reiki isn't amazing. Reiki is so amazing. I have Reiki practitioners actually work on me because they do such amazing work, um, but it is a little bit different in that way that instead of channeling it, it's actually physically moving in. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Thank you for that explanation. And um, what is next for you? What are you planning? Well, I am currently working on a total rebranding um, to show a little bit more of the love and the growth and the angelic presence that comes through the work that I do. Um, and I just started a YouTube channel where I am going to tell some client stories and I am going to share explanations about what I do. And I'm even going to be putting on some guided self-energy work sessions that you can do on yourself where I will talk you through the energy work so that you can follow along and try to do the work yourself if you so desire that. Um, so the YouTube channel is something that I'm going to be focusing on quite a bit. Um, and then I am also looking to open up some new programs, some longer term wellness, full soul wellness kind of programs where I can be there for you more consistently. Like if you were to have anxiety that we would have weekly sessions that would keep you way on top of that until you felt so good you didn't need me anymore. Because that's my goal is for you to never need me again. I want you to feel so amazing that we don't need to do sessions anymore. But so working on a program and then um, I met a, an amazing lady recently who does elemental healing where she works more with all the elements and channeling their energy. 
and um, she has shown me where I can learn that. So that might be coming down the pipe that I might um, add in some elemental healing along with the angelic work that I already do. So how can our audience find you? <laughs> um, they can find me on facebook.com at soul solutions. So that's facebook.com slash S-O-U-L-S-S-O-L-U-T-I. -S -S O N S, and it's going to be in the <laughs> podcast notes because it's going to be easier that way. Um, and then you can also find me on my Instagram, same, it's at Soul Solutions. Okay, awesome. Lexi, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your wisdom and your knowledge with us. It was a pleasure to have you. And thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you for all your support, your love, and this amazing podcast that you've put together. You're doing an amazing thing, allowing people to explore a world that is pretty much unexplored by a lot. So you're doing amazing work and I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Love this episode of Mind Your Subconscious? Subscribe, rate, and leave a review on whichever platform you're listening. It's very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Catch our next episode every Monday.